The manslaughter trial for a former Hollywood nursing home administrator is back underway today. 12 patients died at the facility following Hurricane Irma. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul has been in the courtroom today and joins us live from Fort Lauderdale. Ian. So based on the conversations we just heard between the state and the judge, it sounds like they have one more witness to call after lunch here. George Carvalho is facing nine counts of aggravated manslaughter charges, and the prosecutors are trying to convince the jury that he acted with gross negligence when he was the administrator at the center. Now, this entire situation started back in 2017, right after Hurricane Irma. The rehab center at Hollywood Hills lost power to its chiller, which took out the air conditioning system. Experts who have testified in this trial so far say the elderly residents should have been evacuated immediately, but defense attorneys have argued the conditions were bearable and evacuation actually would have caused more issues. In the end, 12 people did die in connection with the conditions at the center in Carvalho, was charged with those nine counts of aggravated manslaughter. Now, today is day 10 of his trial. Carvalho watched on as the state called several more witnesses to the stand who testified about the conditions their loved ones were living in. Take a listen. And when you had brought her back, um, was there any sort of difference in, in the conditions? Of hotter, hotter. And Betty was crying in the bed. And so I took mom past her, got mom all settled. And when I came out, Betty was just like half crying and grabbed my hand and she said, help me, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And then I walked a little ways further and I saw the other rooms and it looked to me like people were just laying there. I thought they looked dead already. So once the state rests their case here in just the next few hours, the defense will begin calling their witnesses right away, building their case for Carvalho's innocence. If he is eventually found guilty, aggravated manslaughter charges in Florida carry a maximum sentence of 30 years in prison, and he has nine charges against him. So again, if he is eventually found guilty, the judge will have to decide if those are going to run at the same time or one after the other. We will keep you posted every step of the way. For now, we're live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.